by St. Mark's. It's difficult to believe it's the last week of Advent already. If you were paying attention yesterday on the fourth Sunday of Advent, you will have noticed that Mary is the key feature of yesterday's Gospel reading. We also read the Magnificat in response to the first reading. I played an organ setting of a Magnificat, and we had soloists sing a Magnificat during the offertory. So I bet you can guess what I'm going to talk about this week. The Magnificat. It's a great follow-up from last week's video where I talked about the O antiphons used before and after the Magnificat, which is sung at an evening service in most Western Christian traditions every night. For us, at evening prayer or even song, we sing the Magnificat and the Nunc Dimittis. Roman Catholics and Lutherans would sing the Magnificat at Vespers. While yesterday's Gospel reading was actually the story of the Annunciation, when the angel Gabriel appears to Mary and tells her that she's going to be the mother of the Son of God, the Magnificat comes from the previous chapter of Luke, the first chapter. And it comes from the portion of the chapter when Mary visits her cousin Elizabeth. Both Mary and Elizabeth are pregnant, and Elizabeth greets her cousins with the words, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Mary responds with, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. She goes on and on and on. And it's a beautiful, beautiful passage of Scripture, which is probably why it's used every day. Since this canticle is used daily throughout Western Christianity, there are thousands upon thousands of settings of this text. Since this is the case, I'll sing one for you that's a chant setting from the hymnal. And then, down below in the description box, you'll find a link to a playlist I created with several more settings from all different time periods and musical, musical styles as well. My absolute favorite setting is the one by Johann Sebastian Bach, which is found at the end of the playlist. And fair warning, it's about a half an hour long, but well worth the time. I hope that you all have a blessed last few days of Advent and a Merry Christmas. We'll see you soon. He that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He that
that his mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. Uh oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.